What's up guys? We got another Cyrax Facebook video. Please help again. So, let's check it out. What's up everyone? If you guys don't know me and you're on my Facebook or if you're watching this on another platform and you don't know who I am and you're seeing the real plug, let me introduce myself. My name is Chance. And I am the victim of an online terrorist ring. Oh, shut up, Cyrax. You're fucking delusional. That use tactics such as cyberbullying, extortion, catfishing, and other various tactics to get what they want. But I thought you were winning against the trolls just the other day. The specific group that I've been dealing with are comprised of four to five main heads. And those people being Music Biz Marty, William Glory Hole, those are the two main ones. And then their little, their people that they follow and work with are people like Fed Smoker, Metal Gear Rax, CVG, and various other people that they work alongside. These people have done everything from blackmailing me to catfishing me and blackmailing me into sending them nude photos and videos of myself that they then posted on the web to gain money. No one makes money off your nudes. Just be sure of that. The only reason why those videos are no longer up on those pornographic sites is because thanks to a friend of mine, I managed to get them taken down. But the links to those videos still remain. These people have extorted me for money. They have made it very hard for me to make a living. Um, these people at one point even tried to kill me. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt that the Akron Police Department is involved in this extortion ring. That's not true at all. In this cyberbullying ring. They are involved heavily. And the reason I know this is because a few months ago, I was shot at through my bedroom window. I had had an assassination attempt on my life. You are a fucking lunatic. And my family called the police the next day and they did nothing to help. They sat right there in front of me and told me that they were not going to help. And back in March, the head of this whole thing, Music Biz Marty, showed up to my neighborhood, rented out an Airbnb near my dwelling just to harass me and my family. And when he kept calling me out and calling me out and saying mean things, I went over to where he was at and I confront I tried to confront him peacefully. That's not what happened at all. You attacked him. There's video of it. Which went from very peaceful to very violent within mere seconds of me getting there. 
The minute I got there, I tried to speak with him while he was on the porch, but he proceeded to charge at me off the porch. And I then was assaulted to the point where I was almost murdered. I walked away with a halfway broken nose and several severe bruises underneath my eyes and along my face. Your nose was broken and you had a few bruises. How the fuck is that attempted murder? Like, are you that fucking fragile that your nose broken is gonna kill you? My family called the police right away, but yet they proceeded to do nothing. This kind of behavior and these kinds of things have been going on for me for over five years. And I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not. There's five other people, including myself, that I know of. That I know of, at least. There could be more that they have done this to. Their target victims are people with special needs or people that look different and look weak. Many times I tried to escape. I got off the internet and I tried to escape and they took it to real life. You never got off the internet. Ever in your life. You've taken like small breaks where you still were on the internet, you just weren't posting videos as much. You never got off the internet. You can't stop. You're addicted. I have evidence. I have three USB sticks full to the max of evidence showing exactly what goes on but yet authorities refuse to look at it authorities refuse to see the USB sticks of evidence proving that all of this is actually going on Last month, one of these terrorists showed up to my house to harass me and my family and would not leave. And when he would not leave our property, I went outside with a baseball bat out of protection for my family and warned him that he needs to leave. Otherwise, I was going to do what I needed to do to protect my family. He refused to leave. And so I swung the bat at him to make him leave. But instead of hitting him, he proceeded to grab the bat and drag me on the public property. You know, you just admitted you attacked him first, but you're still changing the fucking story daily. You know, the courts don't work like that. They don't work on what Cyrax wants to say happened. They work on what actually happened. And by that time, the police had been called, and instead of making this man who drove 18 plus hours out of state to harass my family, I ended up getting arrested. And just a few months prior, these people. showed up to our house these youtubers by the name of chicken andy and well the main guy's name was chicken andy and they showed up to my house there's about six of them they showed up in an rv with the intent to kidnap me you know for kidnappers they sure gave up pretty fucking easy you know knocking on the door once and then leaving which I would not find out until just a couple days ago that they were there to kidnap me. They were there to kidnap me because they were sent by Music Biz Marty to kidnap me who would have held me hostage and probably killed me. This Music Biz Marty person is a criminal and a murderer. 
He is responsible for the death for the deaths of two prostitutes and a good friend of mine who has since passed away by the name of the real Miss Jamie Nicole. She was a fellow YouTuber and a very near and dear friend to me. Nah, she hated you. Everyone hates you, Cyrax. But she unfortunately lost her life. There was supposed to be a fourth who is a very good friend of mine who just happens to be his ex. He held her hostage in his own home. And the only reason why she managed to escape was because she made the excuse that she needed to get home to her kids and her family. Because she does have children and she does have a family. And what's even worse about all this is that no authorities will help us. They will not help my family at all. My family has reached out over a hundred times for help. But yet no one will help us. We have no money. We were barely able to pay for the letter that I have for the simple assault case that could have been prevented. Yeah, it could have been prevented very easily if you just stayed your ass inside, you fucking idiot. This whole thing could have been prevented if the police would have done their job. I've been victimized for over five years because of this ruthless evil group of people. Every time I try to make any kind of money, they mass report me on whatever platform I'm on to make sure that I do not make any money. Ah, uh, you're mad about Twitch again. That's the problem. And that's how they enslave people like myself. They make them think that they're gonna get money and then the minute that that person starts to make real money, and starts doing well for themselves, they find a way to take it away. These people have made hundreds of thousands of dollars off of me and my face. And my image. And my stuff that I do. And not once have I ever seen one single red cent of what should be mine. You don't get to just claim other people's money like that. They made the content and the money. You just were the joke. I need help. The Akron PD is corrupt. They're in on this whole thing. They have labeled my, me and my mom as 43s, which here in the state of Ohio means mentally disturbed. When I am not mentally disturbed, this is a very real issue that is going on. My family and me need help. These people have stolen my life away from me for the last five years. Before all this started, I was happy. I was doing good. I was actually working on music. And I had just released two albums back to back within that year. And not a single fucking person in the world has ever wanted to buy them. And was promoting them when I became a target. Why these people targeted me, I don't understand. I don't know why. But if anybody out there on Facebook could please help me. Please help me. So that I can help the others that have been victimized as well. You don't give a shit about anyone but yourself. That's not even conjecture. We have absolute definitive fucking proof of it. Granted for some of them it may be too late. But it's not too late for me. I want out. I want to get away from all of this. I want to get my life back. 
that they have stolen away from me. These people have made me do things that I'm not proud of, that I am disgusted by, that I'm, I'm horrified by. My reputation got ruined. Because Music Biz Marty decided to make me look like a pedophile in order to isolate me so that he can then entrap me and make me his slave. Music Biz Marty is a criminal. He used one of his friends by the name of Mass Troll Mafia to make me look like a pedophile. Also, he can isolate me from my friends and cut me off so that he can then, in turn, make me his slave. So that I would have no one to run to. I need help. Yeah, you absolutely do need help. That might be the only true statement you said. You need a lot of fucking help. And that. I don't know how much more I can take. I don't know what I can do. My family doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Because no one will help us. So please, if you see this, please share this with the news. Share this with everyone that you can. Share this with your local newspaper, with your mayor. Share this with your police department. Share this with your FBI agencies. Share this with everyone that you can. None of them are going to care about this sniveling, whining, crying little baby upset he has to go to court because he attacked someone. Please. My family needs help before it's too late. Please. Help us. Before it's too late. Awesome. Well, good job on that, Cyrax. I'm sure that's just going to get all the help you need, and it's just going to fix everything. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day.